Hey crew, you know, this morning I was sitting out here doing what I've learned in crew, you know, some morning mindfulness, when all of a sudden I started looking up here and I was like, oh, what? my door is naked. Can you believe it? Now that the holidays are over, I don't have a wreath and the door just looks so sad. Well, then I had an idea. I need your help to incorporate art and nature to make a really cool project for my door. Are you ready? Okay. I were thinking about all the work we were doing in our EK1 crew families, thinking about the importance of a circle and how, um, and this time we really want to stay connected. And so we thought of a fun project that we can do that's about a circle and also a beautiful um, piece of art for your house. And we're going to be making stick wreaths. So parents, this is great. You can go outside where you're allowed in your community and go collect some sticks. So we went down to the Rocky Mountain Arsenal and got a bunch of sticks and we we're breaking them into small pieces. Yeah, and then we're going to paint them and that's just step one and we'll show you our progress as we go. Have fun painting. We started first by painting backgrounds of a lot of sticks. Sometimes we did some designs right there, but as they're done, that's when we'll go and get some Sharpie or some other paint to add some more details so that they are a variety of patterns and designs. Once all of your sticks are painted, you can go back and add more detail and design on top if you want to, unless you already have some that you did with paint. You could use Sharpies, paint pens, or you could just leave it just the way it is. We're gonna add some more detail using paint pens. We got these, these paint pens from Target. They have them on Amazon, but Sharpies would work just as well, especially metallic ones would be really cool. So we're just gonna use these and add some polka dots and stripes to these sticks. After everything is painted, the way you turn it into a wreath is up to you. You could glue it to a cardboard cutout of a circle. You could get an old wire coat hanger and bend it to that shape and then use some wire to attach it. I had an old wire wreath frame from a crafting store, so I used that along with some thin wire to attach it on. But however you wanna do it works for you. But make sure you have your parents help you because that part can be tricky. But then when you're done, you can hang it up. And voila! Look at that beautiful masterpiece. Now when people come and knock on my door, they're not gonna see a sad, naked door anymore. Instead, they get to see this beautiful creation that maybe and I made using art and nature to make our home a more beautiful place. Now, maybe you don't want a wreath. Maybe you don't have a door that has uh, options for a wreath on it. There's so many things you can still do with painted sticks. You could make stick monsters. You could make a wind chime. You could put them in a vase and make a jar full of sticks instead of flowers. The point is to get outside and to have some creative fun. I can't wait to see what you make 